Hello there. I haven't made a video in quite a while, so I thought I would make a quick one. I hope it's quick, but uh, of a question I found on the uh, custom NPC forums um, here. So the question was about uh, how would I go about using the cell option to create an essentially unlimited trader through scripting? Well, this seemed like a very uh, useful and practical uh, question. <laughs> oh, I thought, and, and also easy, so I like uh, easy and useful, so I thought I would make a, a little demo video here of explaining the scripting behind that. So here is, uh, I'm doing it in the Noodler's uh, Chunk world, and this uh, is uh, a world where um, I found it on Reddit, and it's a each one of these buildings is one chunk wide, so it's kind of cool. I'm just using it as a backdrop to uh, show it off. If you want to download it, it's available for download. You can search for it. Um, it's it's nice. I'll try and find the link and leave it in the description. So on with the the scripting here. Um, so what we need to do is we need to make a trader. Here he is nothing in here. And then we need to make a dialogue. Um, okay, new dialogue. We'll call it Trader. Uh, oops, Trader dialogues for that. We'll have four, well, actually, no, we don't need, we don't need that. We don't need that at all. We just need four options. We need one dialogue and four options. So this will be start. Uh, dialogue one will be, let's call that uh, stone. Dialogue two will be, let's say, glass. Dialogue three will be sand. Uh, I'm just using this. This could be uh, any sort of items, of course, but I have a limited amount of imagination, so <laughs> this is what I'm, I'm putting down here. So, we got four options. Um, start. We'll give him the dialogue start. Select. Okay. So, back to the dialogue now. Um, Let's see. Stone will now all these will go to let's see. All these will go to roll, okay? Right there. And so after the run, the roll screen will show up. Um, let's see. What would you like. That's pretty straightforward. Okay, so click on him. What would you like? Stone, and then this will come up. Okay, so now with the scripting, what you need to do is dialogue close. I've got something going on here. Part of it's um, this is so. What you need to do, I've got this variable uh, called coin one, and that is world create item, creating an item called um, of the custom NPC gold coin. Okay, and so if option one is clicked. Um, the variable item one is um, defined as stone, Minecraft stone. Uh, if I if option two is clicked, uh, item one is defined as sand, and then glass and gravel. Oh, I guess I switch those around. Okay, well let me see. I can. I think in my options I. Uh, had glass second. Let's see. Uh, well, yeah, 
Laplace a second. Okay, so let me switch that around here. We can just move this up there, and then we will move this down there. Okay. So, and then here, finally, after the option is picked, um, here's um, what the question was about, the set cell option button, or set <laughs> the set cell option uh, scripting uh, command. Um, what you want to do is have NPC get roll, uh, set cell option, and then slot one, and then this variable, which is coin, and then this variable, which is, uh, that's supposed to be item, item, item one. I was doing something else with that. So, in theory, if I just drop this whole thing into, I haven't tested this out yet, but uh, I was doing some other tests like this, into dialog close, paste that in there, and let's see what happens. So. Um, click on him, let's say stone, and there's stone for one gold, okay. Um, click on him, say sand, and, no, that's gravel, okay. Hmm. Gravel, gravel, okay. Glass, gravel, hmm. Stone, gravel. Okay, so what's going on here? Let's see. I wasn't really paying attention here. If you look to um, the dialog close here again, I needed the double equal sign in the comparator uh, operation here. The if op uh, if uh, operator. Um, so that and also. I had, uh, this here was ABC, uh, I had the old variable name, so I changed that and uh, it works really good and I put up this little uh, troubleshooting thing to give me the option number, so I can take that out and uh, we can, uh, I'll show you what it happens. So you click on him, you say glass, he'll give you this blue glass, um, click on him, gravel, gravel will show up. I don't have any gold. Let's see. I need some gold coins here. Uh, gold. Let's get a stack of those. So, I can then buy some stone. Or, I could buy some glass here. And what you could do, okay, easily enough, with this um, here. So yeah, see I didn't change this here. need to put double equal signs there. What you could also do, you could take this variable for the coins and you could put that in each if statement there. Oops, looks kind of messy. Um, you could charge differently for it just by putting a different uh, number in here, like the stone could be three, um, the glass could be, I don't know, five, oops, not 51, it's not, no, wait a second, what did I do there, comma, five, um, that could be, one and that could be one also. Let's uh, there we go. Okay, so yeah, that'll work. And so easily enough. Also, let's let's just uh, because I like this glass. What we could do here is uh, let's just make a little room here and. Let's see. Yeah, we'll just take this, copy that, that's probably enough. Okay, so this is, if you look at the API set selling item, 
uh, see this is script stack in script stack sold script stack currency okay and slot number so that's where was I that is why you have to uh, do this create item it, it changes it to a script stack item so um, let's see Oh, what was I going to do? I was going to actually take this and then put that in each of these um, options also. And what you could do is say you could put um, have multiple items, obviously. There's plenty of uh, slots for items to trade there in the trader um, so we could say this could be zero two three and so forth And hopefully I've got everything. Let me see. Let's we don't need this. We can comment that out. Or just not select it. And uh, let's try putting that back in here. Hopefully I didn't mess anything up. Okay. Let's say stone. Stone is good. There we go. And let's see with glass. Okay. Oh, I forgot to change the. Okay. Oops. Oh, okay. So you have to clear it out. I see. So you're going to have to clear it out if you have. Uh, that's interesting. Yeah. Uh, multiple items like that. You're going to have to set that to null. Let me see. That's interesting. Um, yeah, I was going to change this. This is um, for the different colors to one. And let me see. Hopefully, those numbers are valid for scripted glass or scripted stained glass. <laughs> Um, and let me see. Hmm. Let's. Um, there, I'm back here. And I figured out I was trying to create a null item, and uh, <laughs> although that did work, you can make a zero block of gravel or something like that. It's kind of stupid. But uh, through further reading in the API, I found a very simple remove cell item and that works just great so what I did was now if you, it's easier to see here um, I just uh, under gravel I just said remove uh, 0, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 items and that will um, remove the items so you have to put that into each of the other options so right now, uh, see I have this glass, and if you go into stone, the glass is still there, but the stone is there in number slot two. Uh, but if you go into gravel, uh, you can see that they they have been removed. So that's how you do that. Um, so with uh, with a little bit of scripting, you can have a very flexible um, trader here. So. You could um, one, two, three, four, five, six. So there's 18 spots. There's quite a bit. So and you can switch those as many dialogues, and you can have multiple dialogue options. And uh, so it's pretty cool. So that's how you do that. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. Uh, if there's something you'd like to see in scripting, and I have time, I would like to do it. So and it's useful. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you. Bye.